Gus, let's see your tricks. Right, hey, 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 sit. Sit. That's not a sit. Gus, you almost did it, you almost did it. Sit. There you go, you gotta sit. That's a good boy. How about you, Beans? Beans, you can sit. You can sit. Good boy, you're so good. You did the best job. Go. Today on Meet the Dogs with Dog Guy Darren, we've got Gus and Beans. Say hi, Beans. Nope, it's just, just me, honey. Come on. Let's go. Come on. We're out walking. Whew. A little sunset walk. So I spoke with Audrey, the human mom of Gus and Beans, and got a little background on them. So after losing their beloved Great Dane, Max, Audrey and Dan wanted to find another dog to join their family. They wanted a small dog that could be easily picked up, a beautiful, fun personality with little to no shedding. There's Beans right there. They researched several breeds, and Boston Terriers seemed to fit their lifestyle. They searched all over for a male Boston, ended up finding a breeder near Joplin, Missouri that had a litter of pups. They went to the house and chose Little Beans. Audrey says she named him based on several Beans sayings, Boston Baked Beans, Jumping Beans, the infamous Beans Beans the Magical Fruit, as Bostons are known for their gassiness. She says Beans was everything we could have ever hoped for, goofy, loving, energetic, and fit the Boston Terrier definition. Speaking of that, here comes Gus down the stairs. They never thought they'd love another dog like Max, but Beans proved them wrong. They had always had two dogs, and after a year, they knew they had to find a sister for Beans. So they looked for a long time, contacted rescue organizations, looked for reputable breeders, but didn't find any young Bostons. Finally, Audrey saw an ad from a breeder from the boot heel of Missouri who had one puppy left. It wasn't a girl, but a little guy with a deformity of the ear. His ear was folded over and fused together. Dan and Audrey drove to check out the pup and found that the breeding situation was dire. There was no way they were going to leave that stocky, cute little dog there outdoors and in a filthy pen. There's Gus and Beans right there. So Dan ended up naming Gus, short for Angus, because of a family joke. Dan would tell their daughters they should name any future son Angus. He was a fan of Two and a Half Men and found out that the character Jake's real first name was Angus. He'd never heard that name before and thought it was funny. After their daughters assured him they would never name their future son Angus, he took it on to name his new son Angus, or Gus. Gus will be six in November, and Beans is seven and a half years old. Audrey says, having two male dogs has been a change for us. The two are great buddies, but also play, wrestle, and compete like rough and tumble boys. We love their passion and energy, but also their snuggles and snores. So Boston Terriers were developed in Boston in the late 1800s by crossing Bulldogs and White English Terriers. They're one of the few truly all-American breeds and are often referred to as the National Dog of the United States. The dogs have long been considered amiable and affectionate house pets and are known as the American Gentlemen of Dogs. Because of their short face, Care must be taken that the Boston does not get overheated. Bostons also chill very easily and in general should be protected from extreme cold as well as hot. They're definitely house dogs, not outdoor dogs. 
Bostons do snort, and some may snore, but these are usually endearing rather than irritating qualities. Bostons can be picky eaters, and as Audrey mentioned earlier, they have a delicate digestive system and are prone to gas. But once you figure out what commercial foods they like and what agrees with them, feeding them is easy. Just going crazy. That's right. Tell him. What's he doing, Beans? What is he doing? <laughs> 